What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be starting off uh, the list of video ideas uh, that I have after we got that recent Nintendo Direct. Uh, first of which, which I put up a poll asking what you guys wanted to see first. And this was the most highly requested one, which is actually pretty cool. I think that means that Xenoblade fans are actually subscribing to my channel. Nice. Uh, so we're going to be talking about Xeno Gears uh, and how it's very possible we will get a remake slash port or remaster whatever in the next uh, year to two years. Uh, so let's get into it. Now when we first watched that Nintendo Direct, uh, so there's two big announcements that Square Enix did. One is they announced Super Mario RPG. Uh, with Nintendo's help, you know, uh, that's getting a full-on remake with better graphics. It looks great. I grew to like how Mario looks. He looks very cute in that game. Um, Pete's I'm still not so sure about. Uh, but overall, it's getting a remake from the ground up. Very, seems very uh, in line from what I know of the original game. Seems very... Uh, not much has changed, like all the characters look the same, they just look 10 times better. Uh, and of course, uh, Nintendo's doing it along with Square Enix because they, uh, Square Enix owns the rights to like Gino and uh, Mallow or whatever his name is, the Marshmallow guy. Uh, so yeah, it couldn't have been done without them. But the other thing, uh, which actually got me a bit sad in the, when I discussed it in my Nintendo Direct uh, discussion video, uh, was Star Ocean 2 or uh, Star Ocean 2 that game reminded me a lot of like you know Blade and it and you know, in, in turn you know Gears and it made me kind of sad because I was like wow uh, this game is getting a like remake but not Xeno Gears but uh, I've come around uh, after watching uh, Jay Mole's video, which uh, this video is gonna be based on that. Uh, I got the idea from him, so check out his original video in the description uh, where he talks about the same thing about a possible Xeno Gears remake or remaster port, whatever, uh, coming in the future. And it's thanks to uh, Square Enix's relationship with Nintendo. Uh, they. Uh, Square Enix and Nintendo have been working together really, really well for the past few years. Like, really, they have. Uh, Square Enix brings over lots of games to Nintendo platforms. Brings over lots of games to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, like, the Pixel remasters of Final Fantasy 1 through 6. Uh, of course, Crisis Core. They even created new games like a Triangle Strategy and Octopath Traveler on the Switch and was exclusive to the Switch for quite a while before it brought, was brought over to PC and then eventually to like Xbox or whatever. So uh, Nintendo and Square Enix have a great relationship. Uh, it's even been proven further with a game that I actually thought, I thought I wanted on Switch, but I thought, I don't know why it took so long, was Life is Strange. Uh, now I haven't played the games, uh, but Life is Strange I have watched like people play them and I want to play them eventually even though they're kind of like interaction interactive movies you know so why play them but uh, I still wanted to play them and I, I, it took a while for them to come to switch and I always wanted them and when they announced that they were coming I was like wow uh, so yeah uh, Nintendo and Square Enix have a great relationship uh, and this was proven even further with you know the recent Nintendo Direct finally Square Enix finally letting Nintendo remake Super Mario RPG, which was crazy because many people, myself included, were wondering where was Super Mario RPG on the Switch Online service? That's like the only first party game from Nintendo that's not on like the SNES or like even the NES, SNES, like, like those systems, you know? That's like the only one left. So it was really weird that that wasn't available at all. And now we know why, because it's getting a full on remake. Will we see the original game on Switch Online? I think we, we could. Uh, I think maybe they will even 
is do it around the same time as the release, either right before the remake uh, comes out for Super Mario RPG or like right after, you know. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it, but I think it will be put in there at some point this year. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's something we we never thought it would happen but it is so i think it's very likely we will see xenogears be remade to the switch and probably not just the switch i think we uh with this game it will be multi-platform um i wouldn't be surprised though if nintendo had like some uh made it like a one year exclusive to at least consoles uh and then like it will be brought over to other places like xbox playstation in the future but again xenogears is not a nintendo owned thing obviously it started in the playstation uh so it'd be cool to be brought over to switch which is the home of xenoblade you know the next xeno game but i i don't think it's gonna be like an exclusive or anything at least not for like a long while maybe like a one year exclusive deal um but this proves that they are working together square enix and nintendo and honestly that would be so so amazing because um, I never played Xenogears or Xenosaga. Uh, I love Xenoblade. Uh, I grew to love Xenoblade after I was like, okay, Xenoblade 2, that was my first Xenoblade game. Um, like, okay, that's good, but it's not really for me. Eventually I got Xenoblade 1, loved it, uh, finished it, finished Xenoblade 2, uh, and then waited for Xenoblade 3. Uh, also I played Xenoblade X, you know, and the DLCs slash bonus stuff for xenoblade 1 like future connected future redeemed for xenoblade 3 torna for xenoblade 2 so you get the point right uh i love xenoblade but ever since i heard about xenogears and xenosaga i was like i want to play them but they're not available on modern platforms uh like if you told me uh before future redeemed came out uh which i thought was going to be more likely to likely to be brought over to like switch and modern platforms i would have thought uh you know gears because one it's an older game um and but but two so it's not it's an older game so it wouldn't take that much effort to be brought over to modern platforms uh unlike something like xeno saga which is a little bit more complicated because it's 3d and stuff still older but it, again it's a little bit more complicated but two because of square enix's great relationship with nintendo uh bandai namco which owns you know saga uh they have a good relationship with nintendo as well i mean they develop smash 4 and smash ultimate so you know <laughs> uh they have lots of games uh from bandai namco on the switch you know so they have a good relationship but square enix i say has a better relationship with nintendo so i would have thought that was more likely but after future redeemed uh no spoilers here but it seems to imply that you know saga is at least in some way gonna impact Xenoblade in the future. But of course, Xenogears had, Xenogears and Xenoblade X, uh, which are other remasters slash ports that pe the people in the Xenoblade community have been debating, like, what are we gonna see after Xenoblade 3 Future Redeemed? And I, I don't see why not it would be all of them. Like, it doesn't just have to be one over the other, especially because all of those three things got references to to uh in future redeemed again without giving into too much spoilers they got a few references from all of them the most from xeno saga but that doesn't mean we won't see xeno gears be brought over because like the thematics uh are still like the themes and and stuff are still followed by Xenoblade. In fact, Xenoblade 3, from what I hear, which again, I haven't played, but Xenoblade 3 is basically kind of like a remake of Xeno Gears, you know, um, with just different characters or whatever. So it would be cool to be brought over to modern platforms. I want it on Switch as well, you know. Um, and I definitely think it's likely and it would be just so good for everyone that's been a Xenoblade fan and like myself, uh, and to get to experience the full Xeno uh, game series, you know, first with Xeno Gears, then Xeno Saga, uh, which I think is definitely gonna happen, uh, and maybe also Xenoblade X, which I think is gonna happen at some point. 
down the line when i don't know maybe they'll do it for the 10th anniversary of the game like in 2025 which is two years from now which is crazy to think about that the game came out in 2015 man time flies by so fast <laughs> uh i know there's some issues with the game like in terms of people worrying about if it's like a full-on remake like like i'm not saying like a remake in the style like final fantasy 7 remake uh which is like completely rebuilding everything from the ground up and changing things i'm talking about like a simple remake or remaster kind of like the pixel remaster for the final fantasy uh one through six or through or like uh the star ocean you know which is a or super mario rpg which is going to be very faithful um so I'm expecting something along those terms, not like a full, full-on remake, but maybe something that looks better, looks nicer. Um, but people are worried that it's not gonna have the same stuff because there are, from what I remember, uh, because uh, for, uh, to understand at least a little bit of Xeno Gears and the Xeno Saga games, I watched recaps of the stories for the games like a year ago. Uh, so again, I would love to play the games uh, and fully understand the story because I remember some bits of the recap videos, but again, that recap videos are not that good when you just want to experience the game. I mean, if you just watch a recap of the Xenoblade games, uh, you wouldn't understand the full, uh, you wouldn't get the full experience for those games, you know? You wouldn't understand the core in most of the moments, you know? So yeah, definitely think it's worth playing even though for me I already kind of know the stories uh, but anyway from what I hear there are very sensitive themes and there is also uh, nudity <laughs> uh, with the main characters uh, with Faye and Ellie I believe that's their names I, I might be saying Ellie's name wrong I don't know there's like some nudity and there's some things about religion and stuff like that but i i wouldn't expect much if at all to be changed like especially the religion stuff i mean xenoblade has lots of religious stuff uh so i like i know xeno gears has way more religious stuff but i wouldn't be shocked if they it just stayed the same in terms of like nudity censorship the only thing i would suspect is maybe more things to cover up the stuff like it's not like you could see everything but you know uh but it is a little bit more revealing than something like zero blade 3 or zero blade 2 which has some nudity but like they're covered up to it to an extent you know um but like that's the really the only thing i would see a, a big issue the other ones i think would be um fine to see you know they don't have to do much with this i mean they, they could just give us a simple port and i would be happy because i would finally get to experience the game along with many other people um but i think this proves uh but i think this this the direct proves that we will see xeno gears at some point in the near future again i don't know if this year or next year but maybe the year after we'll see something um maybe a, i wouldn't be surprised like maybe a port or remaster uh remake you know but not like in the big epic remake you know um just because of nintendo square enix's relationship which is pretty good i say so yeah guys that's gonna be it for the video uh hope you enjoyed uh i really enjoyed talking about this again check out jay moles in the description below uh to see his side of the Zeno Gears remake possibility, you know. Um, and let me know what you think. Is it possible? Will we see a Zeno Gears remake? Uh, will we see Zeno Saga, Zeno Blade X? I think we'll see all of them. Um, I don't know in what order, um, but I definitely think it's likely because of Nintendo's strong relationship with Square Enix. And they also have a good relationship with Bandai Namco and then obviously Future Redeem kind of hints at all of these things coming together, you know. So yeah, guys, uh, play some Xenoblade, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time for more. Peace.